Hi everyone, I'm Gina Kay from Gina Kay Designs and your host of Stamp TV. I'd like to welcome you to our new release party presentation. Today you will get to see many of the new products being released in action right here in our video presentation along with some useful tools. At any time, feel free to click on the links below the screen to play along with our contest questions, challenge, and to see all of our stamp sets in full along with the beautiful samples created by our design team especially for you. The techniques from today's release party presentation will be archived in our videos section at Stamp TV for viewing whenever you like. And if you're the partying type, we have a party chat thread going strong where you can hang out with the design team and me from now until 1 p.m. Central Time. And the best news is, all of the products are already available in our store at GinaKDesigns.com, so you don't have to wait till 1 o'clock to place your order. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's release party presentation. The first two stamp sets I'm going to showcase today are the brand new set by Becky Ohlers called American Maid and the fun new set by Tammy Mayberry called Lighthearted Wishes. American Maid is packed with vintage style and both of the labels have silhouette cut files available in the silhouette cut file category at GinaKDesigns.com. This set is perfect for card making and scrapbooking but you can also use these stamps for labeling all of your homemade gift items like jellies, jams, and other homegrown favorites. And the Lighthearted Wishes stamp set has quickly become one of my new favorites for making cards for family and friends. These adorable lamps and the cute light bulb, along with all of these whimsical greetings, make fun, quick, and easy cards. The card I'm going to make today combines both of these sets. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this project. First, you're going to need some stamps. And I have this beautiful sunburst background stamp that's in the American Made set. Then I have one of the lamps with a cute little shade on it and one of the greetings from the Lighthearted Wishes set. And I also have this little element from the American Made set and I'm gonna show you how to use this in this beautiful sunburst. You're also going to need some ink pads, and the colors that I've chosen for this project are the Memento Morocco, Cantaloupe, and Tuxedo Black. Then I have some cardstock, and the cardstock that I'm using is the white Gina K Designs Layering Weight cardstock, some of the heavy base weight white cardstock, and one of our brand new colors called Tomato Soup. I'm also using a piece of pattern paper from the new Sunkissed Autumn 6x6 pattern paper pack. And you can see that coordinates beautifully with the tomato soup cardstock. I have some scissors and I have some adhesive. So let's get started. First, I'm going to stamp the lamp image onto a piece of white cardstock. Now, when you have an image like this that is kind of thin in the center, it can go on your block crooked like that if you do it, you know, too quick or it's just very easy to bend. So remember my friend Shelly Wilson's trick, just turn the stamp upside down on your desk and then apply it to your block and then it'll be perfectly straight. Okay, so I'm going to ink this stamp up with a little bit of Memento Tuxedo Black and then I'm going to stamp that offset right onto the side of this piece of cardstock. Then I'm also going to stamp this same image onto some of this Sunkissed Autumn pattern paper. Now I'm only going to need the lampshade part, so I'm just going to stamp it down in the corner here and just ink up the top of that stamp. And this way I'm not wasting too much pattern paper when I'm just going to cut the rest away. So I'm going to give that just a second to dry. 
And in the meantime, I'm going to add a greeting. And I've chosen this little greeting, you are the light of my life. This is just a little thing that I say to my girls all the time. And when I saw that image, that greeting in Tammy Mayberry's new set, I thought, oh, this is the perfect set for me. So I'm going to stamp that right off the side here of the lamp image. You are the light of my life. So cute. Now my next step is to create a background. And that's where this gorgeous new sunburst stamp comes in. This is from the American Made set. And you can see I have it on a huge block. I'm going to ink it up with some of the Memento Cantaloupe ink. And it's pretty easy to ink. I just kind of rub the ink pad back and forth over the entire image first. And then I just pat it across. This way I know I've got it inked up pretty well. And now I'm going to stamp this image right on the top half of this piece of cardstock. And you'll be able to see the ink just grab onto the paper if you use the clear version of this stamp set. So there's that beautiful sunburst. Now I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side to make it continuous. And it's pretty easy to line up, although there will be a little line of demarcation, but we're going to cover that with some ribbon so you won't see that. So there's the second side. Just press that down. It's kind of hard to press on a big block, so you need to just kind of move your hands all around and make sure you've got everything. Everything has a good impression. And there we go. There's the other side. Isn't that pretty? So now I'm going to mount this piece of card this piece of cardstock onto some of that tomato soup cardstock with a little bit of mono adhesive and line it up. Okay. Now to cover that little line that you see between the star the sunbursts and it's very very minor. I I would be very happy with the way it looks just now just like this. But if that little tiny seam bothers you, just take a little bit of ribbon and you can put that ribbon right across the center of the card and that just covers that up and adds a nice little element to the card as well. Now this ribbon is from our new Sunkissed Autumn ribbon assortment and this is the tomato soup ribbon. So this coordinates with the tomato soup cardstock. You're going to love this cardstock. It really truly is exactly the color of tomato soup. So fun. Perfect for autumn. Nothing's like a bowl of tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich, right? Okay, so now I have that covered up there, and I'm going to paper piece this little lampshade. So let me just trim that off of my little piece of pattern paper there, because I can use that for lots of more cards, lots more paper piecing. This is a fun lampshade image. Just cute and whimsical. And I'm going to cut off the fringe on this one and just use the fringe that's stamped on the white. You can see that's going to fit nicely on there. Now you can use some glue. If you like using the quickie glue pen like I do, you can use glue for this. However, when it's a big piece like this, you can also use a little bit of your tape, which is what I'm going to do here and just line it up onto your image and press down. There we go. There's my cute little shabby shade. Now I'm going to mount that piece onto a piece of tomato soup cardstock. And I like stamps where you can have your greeting and your image all on one little panel kind of fun. This would make a cute little gift tag too if you punched a hole in the corner. And I'm going to pop that right on top of this beautiful sunburst. There 
There we go. Now if you want, you can use pop dots for this and raise it up a little bit. It gives it a little bit more dimension. But if you're mailing it, you may want to just attach it just like I did so that it's a little bit flatter and easier to mail. Now this whole panel is going to get placed right on top of my heavy base weight white cardstock base. I always like to put a little bit of tape over my ribbon. just kind of holds it down. And we'll attach that to the card. And between that gorgeous background stamp and this fun little whimsical image, I have a quick and easy card that's ready to pop in the mail. I want to show you one more little trick if you want to add a little additional flair to this card project. I'm going to grab this Memento Morocco ink pad and this little element that Becky has included in the American Made stamp set. And I want to show you how easy it is to add a little bit of excitement into this already beautiful background image. Just ink up this little element and because you're using clear stamps you can see right in between and actually if you have the rubber version of this set you'll still be able to judge it pretty well because of the nice close cut. But you can see how I'm just accenting the white parts in between the rays of sun coming out of this sunburst. Isn't that fun? And Becky's also created a similar element that's little dots that will come out of your sunburst. So you have to try that one too. And you can try this with warm colors, like it's an actual sunburst, or you can try this with complementary colors like turquoise and lime green to just give it kind of a fun pizzazz. Isn't that pretty? Both of these new stamp sets are now available in the What's New category at GinaKDesigns.com. Our newest illustrator, Beth Saleka, has created a gorgeous stamp set in a new style for Gina K Designs. The stippled texture of these beautiful nature images creates a natural distressed look that you're going to love. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this card project. First, you're going to need some ink pads, and I'm using three of the new Memento ink colors, Teal Zeal, Peanut Brittle, and Pistachio. Then I'm going to use a couple of the different stippled images from the new stamp set and I'll show you those as we go along. I'm going to use some of the tiny nail heads. These are the three millimeter uh, copper nail heads and this is going to be a nice accent for my card. I'm also going to use some tape and some scissors and then I'm going to use some cardstock and I have a piece of the heavy base weight ivory card stock. I've made a folded card out of that. And then I have some of the layering weight ivory card stock. I've cut a few pieces of those. And I have one of our new colors. This is called Dusty Sage. Now our Dusty Sage is a layering weight card stock. And what that means is it's a little lighter weight, which is nice for layering and accent pieces on your card. And it also cuts beautifully in the Silhouette Cameo. So this particular color is now only available in our layering weight, but we should be getting it in in our heavy base weight soon. So let's start by creating a background. I'm going to use this flower image from the new Stippled Nature set. And what you're going to find is this stamp set looks very distressed when you stamp it, and that's what you want. So don't mistake it for not grabbing the ink properly. This stamp set is made to look rustic and patchy and little pieces missing here and there. And when the whole stamp set is like that and it all comes together, it really creates a beautiful look. So I'm going to ink up that stamp and I'm going to start by stamping one flower right in the middle. And you can see how patchy that looks, but it's meant to look that way. I'm going to move that teal zeal out of the way and I'm going to ink up this beautiful leaf image here 
with some of the new pistachio. And the pistachio ink is really a nice match for the new Dusty Sage cardstock. So I'm going to stamp one leafy vine, leafy sprig, right here. Kind of work my way around this flower. And stamp one up here. Then I'm going to stamp a couple more flowers. So, and because this flower, it's a little bit wonky shaped on purpose. And if you turn it as you stamp, it makes it look more random and more realistic. So I'm going to stamp one off the cardstock there. And one off the cardstock up here. And I'm going to come in here at a little bit of a just a couple petals showing. Same thing up here, just a couple petals showing. Oh, I like that one with that little, those little notches taken out of it. It's very rustic. Put another one here. And maybe one more down here. Okay. So now I'm going to go in and kind of fill in a little bit with some of these leaves. Just add a leaf right there. And maybe one right up here in this area. Okay. And now I'm going to add one more color and that is the peanut brittle. I have that here. And I'm going to use a real tiny little stamp that's in this set. That's this little delicate daisy flower. I'm just going to fill in some of the little empty holes with some of that peanut brittle color. I'm not going to worry too much about the center because I am going to cover the center up with a focal image. Okay. So there we go. There's a little bit of a burst of an autumny color in there. Now my next part of this card is going to be this little strip. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to stamp the bird image right off to the one side of this strip. And I'm going to do that with my Teal Zeal ink pad. I really like this color and it's a, it's a nice bold color for the focal image. So the bird's going to go here like that. And then I'm going to add a greeting. So. I'm going to use the happy birthday greeting from this stamp set. When you have a long greeting like this, once again, remember, it's always easier to turn the greeting over and then attach it to the block so you don't distort it at all. Now I'm going to stamp this greeting down around the bottom of this strip and then I'm going to add a little accent with those nail heads that I was telling you about. So let's add that happy birthday right down here. And we're going to do a little accenting now. And then we'll pull it all together. So I have these little copper nail heads. And these are so easy to work with. Can you imagine trying to do something like this one at a time would be kind of crazy. But I'm going to put a strip of these right over the happy birthday. So I'm going to cut that strip down to just about here. And this will all come off in one piece like that. And then I'm going to line it up by just pressing down on one and then making sure that it's straight before I press it down for good. There we go. That's really easy to apply. And then I'm going to take one more little one and I am going to add an eye onto my bird for another little accent. 
Now this piece is going to be mounted onto some of this dusty sage. I need to hold that up to make sure I line it up correctly. Okay. And then the larger piece of dusty sage is going to be behind my floral image arrangement. Let me hold that up too. I think I might have to pull that down just a hair. If you don't press too hard, you get another shot with this dot adhesive, which is nice because I tend to, it's a little harder for me to line things up when I'm sitting down than when I'm standing up. Okay, and then this whole panel is going to go on top of this ivory card base. That'll be easy for me to see. It's a little harder to see against my uh, gray mat here. All right, here we go. And now I have my card panel and my focal image is going to go right on top. Just two little strips of tape and line it up. And there is my finished card project. Whether you're using these images for small cards or to create backgrounds for 12 by 12 scrapbook pages and home decor items, the Stippled Nature Stamp Set will be a useful set year round. The new Sunkissed Autumn Stamp TV Kit is packed with clean and simple images that you will love using throughout the fall season and beyond. The first project I'm going to make features a fun technique that uses water-based markers called thumping. You may have seen past Stamp TV videos where I featured the thumping technique. However, I wanted to show you how well this marker technique works with our clear stamps, too. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this project. First, you're going to need some of the stamps from the new Sunkissed Autumn Stamp TV kit. And the ones that I am using is, are this tree, and again, this is one of those stamps that it really is better to put on your block by laying it with its back toward you and then just pressing the block on top. And the reason why it's so important with an image like this is because the leaf image that I'm going to use coordinates with it. And in order to get really good placement, this stamp can't be warped in any way. And then I'm going to use one of the, image, one of the greetings from the new Sunkissed Autumn kit. Then I have a couple of ink pads here. I have the peanut brittle, which I'm going to use for the leaves. I have some rich cocoa for the tree trunk. And then this is my new favorite ink pad. It's an alternative to black, and it's beautiful for all of your warm toned cards. It's called Espresso Truffle. And it's a dark, dark, dark brown black, which you're going to just love because it gives you all that crispness and boldness of black, but it lends itself a little bit better to the warmer tones like the ivory card stock and some of the warm tones that you're going to be using for fall. You're also going to need some markers and I have three memento markers here. I have potter's clay, I have olive grove, which is one of the new ones, and tangelo. And then I have a couple assorted ribbons that come in the kit. And you're going to enjoy these warm fall grow grain ribbons. I also have a pair of scissors and some tape. And then I have the forest branches cuddle bug folder. So let's get started. I'm going to start by stamping the tree trunk onto this piece of ivory cardstock using some of the memento rich cocoa ink. And you know I like to put my ink on my stamps while the stamp is laying on its back. I've done that so often for so long, I'm just so used to it. 
Now, I'm going to stamp this a little bit off center, and the reason I'm going to do that is because this branch is extra long and there's some leaves that are going to be stamped onto it. So, I want to make sure that I have enough room for all the leaves. And now I've talked too long and my stamp got dry, so let me re-ink it. Okay. So, there we go. There's my tree trunk. My next step is to ink up these leaves using the peanut brittle ink pad. And this is going to give me a nice mustard colored leaf to start with. And by the way, this peanut brittle ink looks beautiful with our new honey mustard cardstock, which you're going to see in a minute. So now that I've inked that up, I'm going to take some of these different markers. I'll start with the uh, potter's clay, and I'm just going to tap the marker all over these leaves. So this is going to add a little bit of a rust color into my leaf. And then a little pop of a bright orange with the tangelo. And you can turn your marker as you go so you don't get too much of a pattern. But on these small little images, it's kind of hard to see a pattern. And my last color is going to be the Olive Grove. And I'm using a little bit of green in there because, as you know, with fall images, fall leaves, they take their time turning and sometimes they still have a little bit of green in them, so that'll be kind of fun to accent these leaves with a little bit of that. Now next I'm going to do the huffing technique and that is where you breathe warm moist air over the surface of the stamp to reactivate any of the ink that is already dried. So I'm just going to breathe air over this. And now I'm going to line this stamp up and you can see, especially with the clear stamps, you can see right through to where these leaves will all line up and press down. And there are my beautiful little autumn leaves with all those flecks of color. Isn't that pretty? Next I'm going to stamp my greeting and I have a little piece of the ivory cardstock and I have the greeting it takes a long time to grow an old friend and I love that greeting because it just reminds me of trees. Just the perfect greeting for a tree set. So I'm going to stamp that right onto this piece of ivory using the Espresso Truffle ink. And I want to line this up, so pardon my head if it gets in the way. But I want that to be as straight as I can get it. There we go. It takes a long time to grow an old friend. That is true. And now I'm going to Pop these two pieces onto a little bit of our dark chocolate cardstock. Again, that's another color that is in the new Stamp TV kit. You can see I got a little ink on the back of this piece. But you'll never see that when it's layered on some dark chocolate. There we go. And I have one more piece to layer my tree on top of. There we go. My two panels there. Now next I'm going to run a little bit of our honey mustard cardstock through the cuddle bug using the forest branches cuddle bug folder. And this is a beautiful mustard color, perfect for wood graining too. So if you like to do the wood graining technique and you're looking for the perfect mustard background for that, this is your cardstock. I'm just going to lay that right into this cuddle bug folder and run it through. I have an A plate, a B plate, the cuddle bug folder, and one more B plate on top. Look at all of that nice texture. Doesn't that feel rustic? Now I have a heavy base weight ivory card base that I cut 
and I'm going to put the mustard, the honey mustard, on top of a piece of dark chocolate. And you can decide which side of the cuddle bug folder you like to use better for the front of your panel. They both look a little different, but both of them look really nice. Okay. So now I'm going to do a little fun, fancy trick with some ribbon. You might have a bunch of scraps of ribbon laying around in your scrap box, not knowing what to do with a tiny little piece. And I'm going to show you something fun that you can do. Imagine that you had little pieces like this that you really couldn't make a bow with. And if you don't, of course you can cut them. So I'm going to line this panel up right here. This is going to be my card sketch. So this panel will be here and my greeting is going to go here. And so I feel like I need a little bit of something right up here. And this is where my ribbons come in. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put a little tape on the underside right here. And I'm going to attach three little pieces of ribbon. One here. And I'll use the lighter one in between. And then I'll use this one that's similar to the honey mustard. And I want to look at those and make sure that they're evenly spaced. You can play with them and make sure that they're spaced nicely. Then I'm going to add a little bit of tape to the back panel here. And this whole thing is going to go on my ivory cardstock anyway, so there's the tape. You can see it shining there. And I'm also going to add some tape to the back of my tree image. Put a little bit here on my ribbons. And now I'm going to add this tree right onto my honey mustard panel and then straighten these ribbons out, fold them over and press them onto the back piece of tape there. And that is just a fun little accent of ribbon going down the side. It's a great use of scraps and it fills in that little area there that needed a little something. And now I'm going to add my greeting right down there on the corner. Space it out nicely. And then this whole panel is going to go onto my ivory card base. And there's my fun little sun kissed autumn card. Coming up next, I'm going to give you the full tour of the new Sunkissed Autumn Stamp TV Kit. I'm so excited to share the new Stamp TV Kit, Sunkissed Autumn. This kit is full of beautiful cardstock, pattern paper, ribbons, and embellishments that will help you create beautiful cards for all occasions. Let me show you what's inside. First, just like all of our kits, it comes in this convenient storage box. And the storage box is a great way to keep all of the pieces together so you can follow along with the videos on Stamp TV. Then inside, let's start with the cardstock. We have some beautiful autumn colors and four new colors of cardstock this time. First, you're going to get three sheets of our brand new red. It's called Cherry Red three sheets of our honey mustard, three sheets of layering weight ivory, three sheets of our dark chocolate, then we have three sheets of the layering weight dusty sage, three sheets of our heavy base weight ivory, it's a nice sturdy cardstock for card bases, some of our beautiful new sandy beach, and one of my new favorites, tomato soup. So there is the palette for cardstock. 
Now let me show you how pretty the pattern paper is that matches this palette. This is the new Sunkissed 6x6 pattern paper pack. And this is also sold separately, so you can purchase it uh, to have more if you're making a lot of projects, or if you don't happen to have a stamp TV kit but want to get started with the paper, you can do that by itself. So we have three pieces of this beautiful leaf pattern that matches with both, well, with the honey mustard, with the dusty sage, and the tomato soup. Such a pretty palette there. And we have this one that also goes with tomato soup and honey mustard and some chocolate brown, that dark chocolate in there. This matches with the cherry red and the ivory. This one matches with tomato soup, dusty sage, and our ivory paper, as well as that beautiful brown accent in all of those leaves will work with the dark chocolate. And then we have this fun little pattern paper of trees which, which plays on one of the stamps in the new kit. These fun cherry red flowers. And then we have this pretty brown vine. And then this fun tomato soup floral pattern. And this is a great pattern for paper piecing projects because the pattern's nice and small, so you can use it for dresses or lampshades or all kinds of fun things. So there's that palette. Now, we also have some beautiful ribbons in this kit. One of my favorite ribbons is our jute ribbon. So we put some of that in there this time. And this is 5 eighths of an inch, this jute. And then we have some 3 eighths of an inch ribbons. We have this nice craft color with the dark chocolate stitch. We have a nice complementary deep sage that coordinates with our dusty sage. This one is a nice dark ivory. Looks very nice with the sandy beach. We have one that complements the honey mustard. Of course, we have to have a dark chocolate ribbon. And then we have two reddish colors. Now this one is an orangey red, and it looks beautiful up against the tomato soup. And then we have a bright cherry red that looks so pretty up against the cherry red cardstock. So all of those ribbons, a yard of each, and then we have a nice little pack of copper brads because all of the projects lend themselves to the warm tones. So the copper brads we're going to use a lot in some upcoming projects. So we gave you a bag of those this time. And now the part you've all been waiting for, the stamp set. Here is the Sunkissed Autumn Image Sheet. You can take a look at that. Of course, we have this fun tree line image. I just love this. It coordinates. It's so cute with this pattern paper. Such a cute little compliment. And here is the little tree and the leaves that you stamp on top. And then these little circles make cute little red apples just in time for apple picking season. And a variety of other beautiful fall images to have fun with and great greetings for autumn and beyond. The new Sunkissed Autumn Stamp TV Kit is available now at GinaKDesigns.com. And stay tuned for weeks of episodes inspiring you with projects created using this fabulous new kit. I wanted to take a moment to show you a few new stamp sets that are now available at GinaKDesigns.com. The first set is a new set by Melanie Menchinger called Basket Editions 3. Everybody loves Melanie's Basket series, and Basket Editions 3 contains the perfect images for back to school, Halloween, younger boys and girls cards, and cards for sending off your college student. This set coordinates with both the Spring Basket and Holiday Basket stamp sets. And now you can get the Holiday Basket stamp set in our high quality, clear photopolymer style. Along with the Basket Editions 3 stamp set, Melanie has created a digital stamp set that can be purchased and downloaded to your computer and then printed on your home printer. You can find the new Create a Cauldron digital stamp set in our Digital Products category at GinaKDesigns.com. The digital Create a Cauldron is available as a print-only file or a draw-and-cut silhouette studio file.
At under $5, this Create a Cauldron digital stamp set is a great way to add Halloween images to your collection at a fraction of the price of rubber or clear stamps. Another new set that's now available is the beautiful Country Road stamp set by Teresa Momber. Teresa's amazing hand-drawn style will inspire you to create cards with images that remind you of a drive in the country on a warm autumn day. As you may already know, many of Teresa's scenic stamp sets can be mixed and matched together to create beautiful works of art. And Country Roads is the perfect addition to your scenic collection. The last set I want to show you is the new One Free With Three set, Fall Foliage. I love these rustic leaves and the way they look when stamped in an array of autumn colors. And the greetings are perfect for thank you cards and cards for Thanksgiving. This set is available for free when you order any three full-size stamp sets in one order. Valued at $19.95, this set is a must for your autumn stamping projects. Just click on the What's Free category at GinaKDesigns.com and add this set to your order that contains three other full-size stamp sets, and you'll be on your way to creating your own beautiful fall foliage. I hope you've enjoyed today's release party presentation video. The design team and I will be hanging around until 1 o'clock in the release party chat thread at the link below the screen. And the contests, challenge, and full stamp set reveal links will stay live until Friday when we choose the winners of our contest questions and challenge. Those winners will each receive a grab bag of over a dozen deeply etched pre-cut Gina K Designs rubber stamps. And now that you've learned more about these new products, you can visit our store at GinaKDesigns.com. Thank you all so much for joining us today, and we'll see you back here soon on Stamp TV.